Okay, this is going to be take two of a little four diffuse nebula visit this evening. Uh, to try this once before with a different two. Right now we've got a uh, Photonis Intense P22 image intensifier uh, looking into a Takashi Milan 250 telescope running at f9.2, 90 power magnification, cameras a Sony Alpha 7S coupled with a 1x relay to the uh, Intense intensifier. Settings are 1 30th of a second, shutter ISO is currently 5000, and we're looking at the Lagoon Nebula M8 in Sagittarius. We're going to try a few more after this. You can make out the bright star forming region kind of in the uh, upper right side of the image, a little off center, and then the meandering dark band that kind of goes through from left to right. I think that's actually the Lagoon in the Lagoon. Slightly curvy, somewhat S-shaped thing. Probably a bit less prominent here than it was with uh, an L3 too, but it does show. <clears throat> so that's M8, the Lagoon, and Sagittarius. Let's try another famous nebula in the same constellation, M20, which is right there, and it's rather dim. Uh, most well known for its prominent dark lanes that aren't showing so well at an ISO of 5000. So I'm going to make a little adjustment here in real time and kick this bad boy up to 6400. Oh, even higher. It's 8000. That's probably getting way too grainy. So 6400, 5000. I'll keep it there so you can kind of make out the dark lanes, but they're not so obvious. It's kind of like a half X on the left side and a half X on the right side, and then some little thing connects, a little dark band connects them together. Um, but uh, this did look better in an L3 tube. Trifid Nebula, M20, Sagittarius. Let's move on to the third target for this little run, which is going to be M17. I think that's also in Sagittarius. Here we go. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's a little brighter. I always call this the half lobster, because that's what I think it looks like. Tail's lower left, head's the upper right. He's got a right claw, but no left claw. You can make out some structure in the back of the lobster. This is normally called the swan or the omega nebula, and I like to call it the lobster nebula. It's 5,000 ISO. If I go to 4,000... Hmm. I'll keep it at 4,000 for now. Okay. You can make out some semi-decent structure there, right? So that's M17, and the last one, which is also unfortunately a bit dim, is going to be M16. Which will go to right now. I forgot to mention, I'm using a 12 nanometer H alpha filter, by the way, to try to pick out some contrast in these guys. These diffuse nebulae. Now this one, if you know what you're looking for, you can make out the... Pillars of Creation, which are kind of in the center and pointing with a one, two clock position. They're awfully faint here. What I can do is, again, attempt to adjust the ISO, take it up a little from 4,000, 5,000, 60, well, 6,400. I don't know if that really brings out the Pillars of Creation much. It just makes everything kind of grainy. Put that back down. Here we are at 4,000. Maybe I better stick with 5,000 can't make up my mind. But anyway, that's M16, the Eagle Nebula. Slight showing of the Pillars of Creation, but not much. All right, so that's with the Photonis Intens P22 image intensifier and a Sony Alpha 7S camera, 90X, 12 nanometer H alpha filter in the mix. Call that a wrap, stills are next.